Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening. Like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up. Like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. Looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Second century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. This ought to warm him up. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about club tentacle? Hey, uh, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustache tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals. Lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Oh, here I go, out the door. Oh, I do so enjoy these freedoms that my forefathers fought and died for. Give it up. Sheesh. Can't get close to him. This ought to be good. <laughs> Whoa! 
Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. Hey, look, a skunk. Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Look at that sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. Everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hobie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall. Didn't you see the fly? Some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle. It's Green Tentacle. 
What was that, Green? <laughs> what? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojar. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge matic No one is to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha! Run for it! Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human? Aha. Uh oh. Take that. And this drat. There, I think I've almost got it working. Where'd he go? Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so small-minded. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. 
<laughs> You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? No thanks, we can't afford it. It's free of charge, unlike the diminuator. Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> all mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal.